Hello and welcome to another episode of Atlas on this weird foggy morning. Ah, uh, look at it. So depressing. Can't even see the other side of the bay. What happened to my beautiful view? Oh well, it'll be back eventually. Anyway, so last episode we built this nice little kitchen. I had fun doing it. It looks good. We decorated the um the the what would you call this? The dining room? Yeah, the dining room. Do I have a rug? We do have rugs. Can I... What's this one? Accent rug. No. That's like a small rug. I need some fiber. Okay. Kind of want to... I kind of want to do something. Hold on. Uh, this is not part of today's episode. So today's episode... Uh, is, uh, my goal is to build... Um, to build a place to get all this crap out of. We need, we need our own production area... This, it, it, enough's enough, alright, like, we've got too much stuff, okay, so I've got to pick all of this stuff up again, and place that down, that's so not annoying, but, um, yeah, it, we got to get, we got to, i got to get this out of my house, right, I need to decorate my house, and, and i got to stop working out of my home, it, it's not good for your health to work out of home, so, that's our goal for today, which means I need to make sure I have things actually up and running and ready, because I know I don't. Alright, let's just grab some of this, let's just grab some of this, let's just grab some of this. Let's just slowly walk over here, let's go transfer all of this, like that. Let's go floor, let's build 73, and then go away. Okay, so what I'm thinking is a separate production facility, obviously. Like, that's the whole point. Um, and where are we going to put it? I'm talking... See, now logic would dictate, logic would dictate that I would have the production down there. No, would it really? Yeah, I suppose, but no. it's That's not going to happen. It's coming up here. Um, I'm thinking, it's got to be near this. It's got to be near this guy, uh, this building here. Maybe even what we could do is just have it come off this side here. Yeah, that'll be interesting design though. So she's thinking as what I just had pop in my head. So if we come like here and cross like here, sure. I'll have like this big area here. That, that, that should be a big enough production area. It's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be square though. But it is what it is. What do you guys think? You think that'll be good? I think that will allow me to have decent size. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to be the way. That way, any um, if I, any animals come up bearing special resources, they can just come up here. They stop. They unload on there. I think that'll be good. I think that'll work. Okay, that's the plan. So this area here is going to be our production area. So <coughs> what I'm going to do is apparently die. Um, and then <coughs> so sorry, I just I swallowed wrong. But uh, uh, no, no phrasing. Come on, Smokey. Get with it. Anyway, no. Uh, anyway, so I'm thinking we'll come back here. We'll go across there. Yeah, uh, that's it. That's going to be the way we're going to do things. So I'm going to get this whole platform area up and running. Um, I think that'll be a good idea. And then when I come back, we'll start. Oh, I'll start sh designing. I suppose the 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 um the design. <laughs> wow, words are failing me today. <laughs> what else is new? Now that I've got the uh, platform all put down and everything is good to go, it's time for me to share with you guys some of the ideas I have in my head. So the first idea that I have is, for starters, to swap this over with that one. So what I'm thinking is we're going to do something like this, right? So we're going to have that with that, and then I want like this kind of like gateway entrance here, and I want the same on this side as well. Like that. So we have like these two big entrances, right? And this is just going to be like a wall up like so. So you got this nice big entryway uh, doors coming into the into the production facility thingamabob. Then what I was thinking was, I was like, you know what would be cool? If I had like another row, another two of these out here. And we could do a um, kind of like a... Like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a ceiling type thingy? Not a ceiling. What do you call it? Where you walk through 
like a pathway type thing like here. What do you think? Do you think that'll look good? I don't know. I'm not too sure, especially considering how how thing wants to behave itself. Okay, it's so a railing like that. Oh, I don't have another one. Uh, can I pick you up quickly? I just want to see if you'll even snap to this like that. Oh, you will. Interesting. It kind of looks like the grass has just taken back some of the thing, but that's fine. Yes, I think that'll look good. And then what we can do is like we'll just fill this up like so. All right, and then maybe what I'm thinking is we'll have like a sloped roof. All right, that comes down here, and then we'll have a flat like. I don't want to say balcony because it's not a balcony, but like a flat, um, f like floor thing. Do I have floors on me? I don't. That'll go all the way across here to provide like shelter from the rain. I mean, it's not going to be very practical this part, obviously, because it's such a tiny little gap to fit through. But I think it'll, I think it'll look all right. So I'm going to again disappear, like I usually do, and get all of this kind of slapped together so we can move on to the getting the interior set up the right way so again I'll see you in a second yeah yes some work to do it's done I have built the framework and it looks very very basic but that's okay because it's supposed to be like a production warehouse type thing and they they would look basic wouldn't they wouldn't they now these lights actually, I've just literally right now have decided that I don't like them here. I'm thinking these will probably better suit to being about on the inside. Actually, you've got to put them up high because we want to walk through here. So if I put it there, all right, put that dot there. Can I walk underneath these? No? Uh, sort of, but I don't like it. Okay, so we're going to put the dot right about there and then that should let me kind of walk through there not that I'm ever going to actually walk through uh, this little section it's this is literally 100% decorative but I would like to have the option and so we're just going to quickly do this this I need to, uh, no okay okay yep, yep, there we go pick it up okay sweet boom gone done awesome great perfect I like that it's got some lights on the inside uh, anyway, there's a fly on my screen. Go away, Mr. Fly. Why are you here today? So I've connected this guy up. It worked pretty well. I got it in there. I figured it out. It's nice and easy. It's great, except for this thing, like, being here. I wish this wasn't a thing. But this is hooked up, so we got can make plenty of dies. I've got, like, little slats in the roof here. And I thought that would be good for, uh, like, these, like, spuck. Uh, f I guess I built the spuck ones by accident, but whatever. So these like little forges, like, uh, I really don't want to have anything clipping through the back. So we're going to bring it back like so. Bam. We just kind of, we're just going to sh shimmy on over to this side. So th the idea is that the smoke from the forges goes up and out through the little slats in the roof there. And with the roof being this way, it should minimize the rain coming in. Not that that's a thing. Can I still access that? Because, yeah, I can still access that. Excellent. Okay, that works out pretty well. A little bit cramped, but does the trick. So we're going to have that there. I think that looks pretty good. Then, what do we got next? We got the loom. Okay, the loom of fate. I'm thinking the loom of fate. Should we put it here, maybe? Screw it. Yeah, let's put it here. So I'm just going to line everything up because you guys know me. Everything's going to be straight and lined up, even though it never really ends up being that way. All right, so put that there. No clippy. No clippy. Excellent. That's the way we like it. All right. Then now we have tannery. 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 You can go here. Okay, so now the tannery, if I'm not mistaken is actually a little bit more annoying than uh, your standard thing because it has those sticking out the back there. So if you're not careful, it's going to go straight through the wall. I think that should be fine. Like that. Yep, okay, sweet. 
So we've got our ternary, we've got our thingies, then I'm thinking here in the middle, I want to put, like maybe we'll put a table, hmm, let's see this is the middle. So we might, we'll chuck like a table here, and then maybe we should put the smithy here on the other side. Look at that. We think that works out pretty well. I think that does. I'm going to chuck our mortar and pestles down here. Apparently I made the spuck ones again, but that's fine. Whatever. Everyone's not perfect. That has got to not be like that. If you're going to be clipping in one, you might as well make it look like you fit. There we go. Perfect. Much happier with that. Not straight, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Fly, go away. That's my face. Don't be near it. Next thing we've got, we have got, I forgot to redecorate the kitchen, uh, the dining room table. Okay, so we've got the e eco stuff, so we're going to, maybe we'll chuck you, like right here. Alright, there's a foliage one, a plant one, so we're going to stick the plant one right here. Just to, you know, spruce up the environment, like, like a nice little plant. Uh, what else have we got? We got the soap stuff and the resource box left to do. Okay, so the soap. Some uh, can I put it under the table? I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, I could probably put it there. However, will I be able to actually access it? Yeah, I can. Okay. That worked out well. Uh, did it? Yes, it did. Okay, that's good. We got that there. Everything's coming up nice and neat. And then we need to put our resource box. Like right in the middle here. Perfect. And then I've got another smithy. Just because sometimes I'd like to... Hmm, okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking... You know what, maybe we, we, we pick all of this up, we move this, we're going to put the second smithy here. Uh, okay, well, I have to demolish that table, and I have to demolish that, that's totally fine, not at all annoying. Um, okay, let me just move you back a little bit, make sure I've got room to manoeuvre. Excellent. Access you, we can access you, perfect. Um, can I make another table? No bother, don't bother searching for the word table. Uh, no, okay, we need some thatch and some wood, and we need a, another soap structures box thingy-ma-bob. Alright, let's go, let's open this up. Um, sometime. Okay, so, I forgot we needed soap. Nope, okay, that's got to be done in this inventory, doesn't it? Alright, so let's just take that, let's take that, let's take that, let's take that. Let's take that. Alright, so we're going to go down here. We're going to get that. Then we're going to go soap. And we're going to craft that. Perfect. And we're going to quickly make our way back over here to our production facility. A nice little production facility. Uh, we're going to... Okay, can we do this? I don't... Like... Can't place soap feet on the ground. Okay, there we go. I wanted to do this so I can hopefully maybe I can place that first, then place the table, which apparently I had one in my inventory the whole time. That's that's just great. Good work, Smokey. You're not paying attention to your own things. You're not straight, which is going to just trigger me ever so much. Okay, that kind of looks like it's going to be straight. Okay, put that there, like that. Okay, and then now we can put down our mortar and pestles again. One, two, and three. Perfect! Perfection! And there we have our great little production facility. We got some tanneries, we got some spuck forges, um, looms, we got the mortar and pestles, that, that, that. What can I make with this? I don't even remember. Soft seaweed, apparently. We can build some trees. Uh, we can build some rocks. Build a bunch of plants. That's good. 
I can actually think of uses for these plants. I can, for example, I can use one of these plants. Um, let's see, have we got like a cliff bush? There we go. How big is this? Excellent. See, I can use these to fix problems. Oh, I changed this around too. I've, I, I made it, I remembered that I could use things to trick things into putting uh, found out floor foundations down here. So that way it matches the other side, which I think looks a thousand times better um, than the way I had it before. Let's see. Yeah, see, look at that. It's like it's kind of wrapping around the entrance way. I much prefer that. Before it was kind of just, it went to that corner there and then went straight across towards the house. Now, it looks much better. Um, that has nothing to do with what I'm doing today though. That was just a little addition I made in between now and then. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, cliff bush. Okay. So, the, this mod will allow me to do several things. Apparently, lag the world out while I grapple hook. But you see how we got this like little glitch world life thing here? I can just go and put that down there. And no one's the wiser. No one will be the wiser, unless the mod disappears. And that's just a different issue altogether. But let's have a look. What do we think? Perfect. You can't see it anymore. You're not even going to notice it when you come up here. It's just... Because I, every time I come up here, I could, like, notice the, the there's, like, a big hole underneath the thing. And it stood out like a sore thumb. I mean, that kind of... That green sort of kind of does as well. But it doesn't at the same time because everything else is green. And it looks much better. Now, let's go down here. And let's go check out these new bears that I tamed. Because I don't think I actually showed you the new bears. One of them is meh. It's pretty much hot garbage if I'm to be honest. Uh, let's see. Which one's the good one? Shut up. Uh, so this bear is the hot garbage one. Uh, it's not hot garbage. I shouldn't say that. So it's, got, it's got 150% merely, but 639 health. 1,000 weight, 900 stamina. Like, it's a good. It's It's got potential. Uh, if I go out, take it out, level it up and stuff. But this bear here, 162% melee damage. That's the highest one I've seen in a while. I don't think I've ever seen the high one. Then I, I have no doubt they get to higher levels. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good level. Um, it's got a, unfortunately, it's got terrible health. So, I think Silent said he had one that has really good health. Hopefully, that's a male. And then in the future, we can breed these two together and get some really good bears out of them. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Poor Robert's going to be left out of that deal. He can get one of the good bears, but I'm going to make him pay through the teeth. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how we go. We'll see what we do. But I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I think this might be a little bit of a short one, but it is what it is. I've, I've, I've accomplished my goal for today. Plus a, an extra one of fixing that gap that I couldn't see and fixing this wall up there, which I think is pretty good. I think this production room is going to be very useful. I can finally reclaim my house and I actually do kind of like the way it looks. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking maybe what we should do is maybe I'll come back and I'll put that stupid elephant thing. Where is that? that, that that's exactly what I need to put in here, that stupid elephant thing. So it wasn't a waste of resources now i'm pretty sure i chucked it back in the thing i made it out of all right um yes 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 uh yes yes i'd hit see i knew i knew that i knew where i put the elephant's head oh should i put it on the outside <laughs> how stupid is that gonna look because like, i can't actually Elephant's refinery production facility. I don't know. But we'll leave it there for now. Can I walk under it? I can. Okay. 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 Cool, 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 cool. All right. Yeah. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I had some fun. I enjoyed building things like this. I've got quite a few plans of things that need to be built, both for just me personally and for, like, I guess it's sort of like a community but not really I'm, I'm not i'm not too sure what we are 
Like, we're going to be working together a lot, but we're also going to have... We also have agreed that we can pirate each other if we want to, within reason. Um, we'll see how we go. We'll see what happens. Uh, for the time being, just for now, I think we're going to wait until everyone's a little bit more... Well, I'm going to wait a little bit more until everyone's... I'm going to wait a little bit until everyone is more established before I go around pirating everybody. Um, just because you don't... I don't want to ruin their fun. Like, you know... A little bit of pirating is okay, but everyone's just kind of getting their feet established. I say that as I've got, like, all of this, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just rambling now. Ship's prepared. Fix that too. Uh, Silent did a lot less damage to it than I thought. I mean, he did the that first broadside that he got me everything and nearly took took a couple of these, took one of the planks out, and that. He did, that was a big, powerful hit, but he didn't actually hit me after that. Anyway, I don't know why I'm rumbling on about that. That's it for now, guys. Hope you like it. Comment, subscribe, all that other fun stuff. Go check out Robert and Silence stuff and things that they're doing. Links in the description. And as always, have a good one, and we'll see you all next time. Bye! Oh, I've really got to go to the toilet now. <laughs>